All right, so we're about to take these shots. I don't know how you're gonna do that with that ice, but here we go. Okay, we're gonna try. Welcome to another episode of Whiskey Sour. Woo, that hit my chest hard. Right? <laughs> Libations and conversations. I'm your host, Dominique, and this is my amazing friend, all the way from the loo. Finally got her on my show, though she lives around the corner. She's on the corner for real, but she lives up the highway. Hello, far. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's hella far with traffic, but you know, if I get up at 6 a.m., you live 15 minutes away. <laughs> yeah, only at Kendra, 6 a.m. and 8 p.m. <laughs> yes. Say hello to my friend, Kendra Quinn. Hi, girl. How you doing? I finally got you here after like begging you. You're, oh, oh my God, I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm out of town. I'm this. I'm that. I'm my girl. <laughs> you it's ain't that god dang busy. It's a shame. Okay. I'm so happy that I'm finally here. How you doing, girl? Girl, you see me drunk, <laughs> trying to take shots, trying to get my life together, trying to not have panic attacks every day. That part. <laughs> girl, I how get a mess. Um it's so funny because I thought of something the other day that was happening. Uh, to somebody that I know that got hot, pulled up on like randomly and right. you know you know I tried to I wanted to have a positive episode with you talking about manifesting and all of that cool shit you know like getting out our dreams you know um but no nah, I, I kind of want to be reckless and ratchet with you so I'm like I ooh, that. <laughs> who would it would be like nobody that I could have on other than you because you you know you know for having a nigga pop up on you period like it's period. just like clockwork every year at least one <laughs> somebody somehow getting into your you know key access only buildings <laughs> leaving you gifts on your doors that we still don't know Girl. how they got there niggas still calling your mama and daddy mama and daddy and I'm like, we got this nigga blocked. Blocked on every platform too. And like, okay, so I, I can't remember who sent me. There's like a link on how to block someone on Gmail because that's the last platform. And that's the only platform this man can reach me on. So, but wait, no, 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 no. I, I thought you can, girl, I would mark him as spam. <laughs> <laughs> so that shit don't come in your box. But there's a, there is a way, yeah, you can like block a, like a sender on that. That's easy though. I can show you how to do that. Okay. I didn't yeah, know he was still eat. Girl, he's this, hold on. Okay. Hold on. Can we give them a backstory? Let's not just jump into that mess. Let's do okay. a quick backstory and then jump into the mess. Okay. Cool. Cool. I'm cool with the backstory. So, um, my last boyfriend and I broke up in 2016. It's what? 2021 right now? Yes. I'm actually like, I got to watch. I don't. But, um, <laughs> 2021 and in this calendar year this man has still tried to contact me um prior to you know fast forward and let's let's rewind a little bit so we broke up and I had moved to LA at this point this is like right the year when I moved to LA and this right. man was still living in another state and then ends up moving to Dallas and befriending my cousins like my first cousins Okay, <laughs> so, so okay, so let's stop there. <laughs> do we think he saw out your cousins? I personally do. I, I personally do because um, the year before we broke up, I graduated grad school and he graduated undergrad. Okay, and he met most of my family at my graduation, and he okay. like, I think maybe has some social media contact with them. Um, but yeah, like I think that him somehow locating them in Dallas was definitely intentional i don't think they just like hey what's up him like he clearly <laughs> wanted to be friends with them so come to find out this man moved to california recently and in his last email he sent me his address and i'm just like well you ain't getting my new address i don't <laughs> give me all this stuff you want but i'm never contacting you again so <laughs> i just <sighs> So I my I think my problem with all of this is it's just like the simple fact that we, you know, like men always try to play women like we the crazy ones. 
You yeah. have blocked this man. This man has moved multiple times and still continues to contact your family or you. And I'm like, you don't like, sir, you don't think that this is crazy. Like you don't think that this person, this person does not want to be with you. So it's, why are we, why are you here? Why are you doing this? I can't rationalize this shit. Like, to be honest with you, I've tried to like think of an instance where I would ever pursue someone who's obviously over me to this extent. I mean, my own father has called this man on the phone and told him to not contact me. If you're not respecting what my dad says and you're still emailing me, sending me packages to my old apartment, <laughs> like, what can you do? <laughs> I, I, there's nothing that you you can do. I, I just... I, I'm just trying to wrap my head around that, but I guess, I, I guess, but you know what, we all are crazy in like different ways to a certain extent. Like I, I know that about myself and I guess I'm not the person that you should watch out for, you know, like, cause I can admit that I am crazy in certain ways, but it, it's like, this guy does not realize that he does a lot. So yeah. I'm just really, I don't know. I don't fucking know, but I just, feel like I think I think I always just be scared I'm like Kendra like <laughs> this nigga this nigga gonna find you so much shape before I mean he gonna be following you and then we're gonna have to act up west side ass fool Girl. and start shooting niggas <laughs> right I'm like am I gonna have to fight a grown-ass man in my 30s like what's going on here because if I see him it's on site like it's like the <laughs> is coming out the west side the north side they all coming out girl this dude like I'm telling you he like, I'm just so scared that, like, L.A., everybody knows Black L.A. is pretty small. Yeah. I'm just scared that now that we outside, I may come into con contact with him at, like, a day party or, like, just out in public. Like, I don't want to go out. I'm scared to go out because when I run into this man. <laughs> like, See, okay, so that's why when you post, you don't tag where you are at that moment. And you can tag them afterwards. Like, I am very strategic when it comes to certain shit. Like, if I post, I was always afraid that, you know, I always think the worst. Because, I mean, we from the hood. What, what the fuck? Like, like, life is always about, like, you know, survival. But it's just also, you know, you don't know who's watching you. So you don't know if somebody been following you. You know, you drop something. They're like, oh, that nigga not at home? Oh, we going up in her shit. Uh, so it's like always one eye open looking over my shoulder like you know I've been robbed and carjacked in front of my crib in St. Louis so it's not even like I'm always on high alert but I just feel like okay, I wait. don't know what I would see what, was, <laughs> was this on the west side when you got carjacked in St. Louis girl yeah North oh place. man the west side ain't that bad the west side the best side oh yeah that's true for LA not for <laughs> <laughs> you show right you show up for right um, okay, so have you ever popped up on somebody? So let me let me think long and hard about this because I don't feel as if I've popped up, but I've definitely checked in. Um okay. I've checked in with a couple of guys from my past, just on some, hey, how you doing? But my intentions were never really. I'm trying to be with you again or nothing like that. It was maybe out of genuine interest. I may have seen something that, that, that occurred in her life that piqued my interest or like whatever. Like, but I only have really popped up on exes where we had a cordial ending, which is all of one. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, you know, so I, I'm not the pop-up type because once I'm done, I'm done. Like, you know, Gemini's when we like we give it our all, but then we cut someone off or something ends and you feel disrespected. It's like you never existed, so. Okay. I popped up on somebody before. Wait, you're lying. Who is, okay, I need the deets, sis. I need the deets. Let me drink the rest of my whiskey for this. What's up? Okay. All right, well, maybe I should take, no, I ain't trying to be super drunk tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I've been like, drinking all this water like, today. I'm at 7 p.m. I'm a little behind because it's 7.41. <laughs> I need to get that. I need to uh, work on my water intake. That's fire. I need that. <laughs> Girl. Okay. So I was in college and I was dating my favorite ex at the time. And I had gotten a key. He had given me, I didn't, well, hold on, let me back, let me back. Like, there's a key Cause it sounds <laughs> like, it sounds like I took a key. Like I got a key, like, no. He had given me a key. 
But there were rules and stipulations to this key. Okay. And it was like, I couldn't, I couldn't just come over when I wanted to. Of course. Um, I needed to call um, and like shit like that. And I needed to like, you know, like make sure that it was okay. And I was like, well, what's the point of you giving me a key if I got to still, you know, <laughs> ask, can I come over? Like, that's stupid. Like that doesn't make me feel like welcome. But I, you know me, I'm like, like, but I'm like, well, this nigga still gave me a key. I know he's saying this, right. but you know, I really don't give a fuck. I'm gonna do, so I popped up, actually I popped up twice on this nigga. The first time it was super, super early in the morning. And like he worked overnight at uh, GM in St. Louis. And so I think I, I think I might've either had like night class or something that day, but whatever was my morning was open. And so I was like, oh, I know he just got home. I want to go like, you know, cuddle a little bit like down with him, you know, like, (laughs) no. So I came in and I guess he was, he had just kind of like laid down and got comfortable. And so I came through the door, y'all low key, this nigga pulled a gun on me. Cause he didn't know. Cause he, (laughs) cause he was like, kind of like, he lived in North County (laughs) and it's technically was like Bell Fountain, like where Bell Fountain and like Delwood kind of meet a little bit. But it wasn't, so it was still kind of sketchy in this like complex. Yeah, so I was like, it's just me, it's just me. Like, I just, you know, like I had to like, cause niggas, you know, but I'm like, do you think that somebody would just run up in here on you like that? It's the morning time, right? Not even it, like- It's the morning time, but you know, niggas in St. Louis, they'll do shit in broad they daylight. Yeah, Listen, it like I, it was, it was a dude like that got shot on, I don't know if it was necessarily our block or if it was behind, but I heard him wrestling like like in our backyard and he ended up like going to the school up the street, like, and kids was coming to school, that motherfucker died. So, wow. and it was like seven, like seven, seven thirty, eight o'clock in the morning. That's so amazing. I'm like, you know, niggas, niggas, St. Louis since wake up and they choose violence all That's the true. time. <laughs> so let's just, let's just put that out there. Yeah. Um, but the second time I popped up on this nigga, y'all. So I I don't know if we got into it or if he wasn't just answering his phone. But you know, you know our intuition and you know something. And I know people always like women, y'all we create know. scenarios. And I'm no, like, but we know. <laughs> we know. Cause cause it was one time, I be trying to figure out why this is my favorite ex. And I don't know if it was because this nigga was like, would give me money when he got paid. And like, even when I lost my job out here, he like threw some money my way. And, and shit like you with a gun in his crib. Like, you know, it's just, you know, he though he pulled that know. gun on me, you know. Um, <laughs> so I still don't know why this nigga, I, I, make it we still good friends we still talk to this day like it's still so funny and we're like good amazing friends so um whatever the case may be I was like oh you not gonna answer this fucking phone and you see me calling you and see he had did some fuck shit in, like in the past like around my birthday one time so I was just like okay cool so I pulled up to his house you got the key. I, I got the key. So I, (laughs) so I put like, I'm walking up the steps and I can hear music and I'm like, okay, this nigga having a party. Like he didn't call, like what is going on? So I put the key in and I start to turn it and I was like, you know what? No. So I pull it out. Oh no, no. Oh, oh I, it's, the conversation okay. is not this. this okay, okay. No. Okay, you better have gone in at this point. <laughs> no, I'm not. I said no. I don't want to do too much. To just bust in because, like, I was about to act like Keisha Cole, but I was like, I knocked on the door, and he opened it and was like, "Hey, what's up?" And I'm like. And I look inside, it's some bitches in there. It's like some of his homeboys. And I'm counting the, you know, the bitches and I'm counting them. I'm like, this, 
this like it's a hole for everybody. So oh I was like, God. so they need to leave. <laughs> and he was like, which I, I said, they need to leave now. And you know, like the girl was like, well, who is this? I was like, I'm his girlfriend. I got a key. I'm like, <laughs> wow, I got a key. Get so your ass out of the door. I was just like, you know, and she was like, well, you know, like I'm like, get the fuck out. So um, we had this long conversation or whatever. And I just was like, I feel like you're like low key, a terrible ass person. And I don't know why I keep fucking with you. And I still continue to date this nigga. Let me he gave you. me a key. Entitlement, sis. You get that like sense of like, you know what? It doesn't matter. The fact that he gave you the key and still had the audacity to be having all these bitches over, having a whole whole party, like, why? Why give you the key at that point? Like, you don't because he is a toxic ass Sagittarius. Okay. Oh yeah, you gotta watch out for them fire signs, girl. Girl, and I'm just sitting here. I'm looking back as an adult, thinking about the shit now. I was like, you know, I was, I was stupid. You know, I was really dumb. You know, like when we was just talking about, like on the other podcast about like oh being digmatized, and they were saying how they was digmatized. I was like, no, I feel like I've had bomb dick that could have probably taken me to being digmatized. You were something. You were chematized. I was chematized. That's, that's the word. Word. Mm-hmm. That, yes, that's it. And I was thinking, I was like, you know, something would happen that would like snap me out of it where I was like, nah, like I ain't about to go down this road. I'm not going to be that bitch. Like I'm going to go get me some more niggas or some shit. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. Like, so you're going to tell me you ain't never popped up. In no way, shape, or form? No way, shape, or form. I've never physically popped up, only ever digitally. Maybe a DM slide, a hey, how you doing text, nothing further. But I am the victim of popper uppers. Um, <laughs> it's not just my, you know, crazy ex-boyfriend. It's it's flings that didn't that went left and just situationships that ended. Okay. And it's like all of these niggas are on a year, one year long timeline to when they <laughs> feel like they can reach out after things. And I'm like, you know me, I feel dumb for sometimes like giving a situation ship hope or whatever, but once <laughs> I'm done, I'm done. And yeah. like, when I'm done, I'm like, what gives you guys the audacity? Like it takes, do you know how much audacity it takes to disturb a woman who is leveled up from you? And to see if you still have access to her, you look like a clown. Like, I just, I just want guys to know that that's not cute. Like you had all my time and attention when I was giving it to you. And now, you know, you may have gone around the block and decided that nobody was better. And now you're back. Here you are. Do you think I'm supposed to welcome Listen, you back? Listen, we been <laughs> telling you niggas, it don't get no better than us. So stop trying to spin the block. And, Y'all and, and come back. Nah. The lesser woman. It's not even, it's like, that's on you. You're lost. It's the L. Take right. the L. Like, right. No, that's fucking hilarious. No, I just, it's like men, especially like if it was a, a, a complex situation, it's like, oh, this bitch chooses peace today. She chooses, she chooses peace. So let me go fuck her, her, fuck her shit up real quick. And then you just be like, what the fuck? Like, I, w- I was doing really good. And now this nigga, Look. It's always, you know how women always level up after like a curve or after something doesn't work out, a relationship right. ends. Women be having a whole nother degree a year later, having a new job, new car, new place, all of that. And then it's not until you get all of that and you're completely comfortable and self-sustaining yep. until these niggas pop up. And it's just exactly. like, wow, you really don't want to see me out here thriving. Like, you really don't. Like, I am so better without you. Like, nigga, leave me alone. I'm gone. I hell. but I'm just like it actually that happened yesterday oh my god and I was like um so no I already told you my dating situation or whatever and it was just like you know like a little begging going on and I'm just like nah like I told you this like it's a no begging wait (laughs) what do you want there was begging going on because I mean I've received that too but it's embarrassing it's I'm embarrassed on the behalf of men I am embarrassed for them like I ain't that I listen I know niggas be trash (laughs) (laughs) I try to have that little bit of no I don't I don't like here's the thing it's like (laughs) because listen I can acknowledge 
that I do fuck shit and that from time to time people call me a fuck girl. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Like if yeah, that's just who I am. And I accept who I am as a oh, person. Yeah. I, I also know that I'm a work in progress. So I'm trying to do I'm trying to do better. But these niggas is not trying to do better. And I'm they're convinced. not even trying. Like I have my little slip ups where I'm like, oh man, I could choose peace today, but it's it's being petty is a little bit more fun. You know, we, I have those moments too, but it doesn't mean that my, you know what I'm saying, that's not my default and my intentions tend to be good. And I feel like, you know, that ounce of hope I have for men is just like, keeps dwindling with every pop-up. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, like I said, like it, it's some days, like I just, I ignore people, but then there are days where I just, I'm like, okay, you, you, you're, you're trying to be funny today. So I am going to be with the shit and I am going to check that shit. Just like, you know, last week when my ex popped up on my snack. Now I don't follow this nigga on no social media and I forget about snack. So I'm like, this nigga has now asked me several times. Have I got my titties done? I have not got my titties done y'all. Like that is the dumbest thing to lie about. I don't shame oh, no. people that alter their bodies unless it's bad work. If you just out here with a bad doctor, I'm yeah, not. Yeah, a lot, and it's a lot of motherfuckers <laughs> out here with a bad doctor. Let's let's be clear. People it's, don't have the finances for a good doctor. No, they have no. They have the finances. It's just that they're cheap. And if you and if you are going to be cheap, you probably should not get work done at yeah. all because you don't. You want that shit to look like so natural. Yeah, and good. Like you don't want you want to photograph well. Like girl, people's titties don't be matching out here. Thigh, one thigh be bigger. It's just like it could go left really quick. So right. And, and so in that case, I was just over it, and I was just like, y'all, look, look at this shit. And then I just responded, oh, ha- did you decide to be a better father to your firstborn child? <laughs> Because I feel like you all up in my business. Well, let's be all up in yours. So what's the tea? And he gonna tell me your mama. <laughs> really? Really? I'm like, so you, yeah, that just confirms you not taking care of that kid still. Then be exactly. that motherfucker. <laughs> didn't even have nothing to say back. Like, you didn't have nothing mama to say is back. Best to come <laughs> so I'm just like, I just hate it here. You know, like niggas are trash. Cannot niggas agree. are trash. They really are. And it's just like, I'm tired of it. I'm ready to take them out. Like, y'all not about to be sneaking up my house, my life. <laughs> I'm over it. Like, see, y'all stay trash like, outside. <laughs> look, speaking of trash ass niggas, I don't know if you remember this. I, I like to I like to do random things to throw people off a little oh, bit. Oh, Lord, I'm scared now. <laughs> we went to... Uh, La Descarga. I think we went to La Descarga and what and Hollywood. Mm-hmm. And I just so happened to glance at your phone because you was texting a nigga. Oh shit. And the, this nigga's <laughs> name is not a common name. And I was like, oh, does this person rap? Is he from Philly? Oh my God. <laughs> Don't bring this nigga up, yo. <laughs> and you're like, yeah. She was like, I'm horny. I just want to fuck. I said, don't. Because it's just mediocre. And One he might that. pee in your bed. <laughs> like, honestly, when you told me this, I was just like, in absolute awe. Like, who? <laughs> like, I've never heard anything like that happen to a grown man. Like, let alone a grown man that one of my friends has been involved with. And I'm just like, LA is small. That's how you know. Because how is it that? Right. You know this dude that I'm texting, and I just started texting him, and he lied about having an Instagram. Remember that he told me. Yes, he, he also Instagram. lied about. And not only did he lie about having an Instagram, y'all, this nigga had like twenty four thousand followers. Yes, he was like a damn near influencer. You lying about yes. having an Instagram? Like yes. Wow. And it's so funny because I said, Kendra, let's take a photo and send it to him. <laughs> we did. <laughs> And we took this photo and sent it to him. And he was just like, oh, wow. Like, y'all, wow, or whatever. But it's so funny because this Nick, like, low-key, um, he was saying, like, 
how somehow he always ends up like talking to a girl Ali she's from St. Louis like yeah really- he told me that too he was like oh I'll fuck with St. Louis girls the first one of the first things he said to me I'm like bro who hurt you like <laughs> it wasn't me shit he last- heard my, he heard my he random mattress bed. you was peeing in bitches beds last time I checked like okay what? So apparently like this dude was like when he was going to school out here, whatever, like some girl that he messed with at the school, like said she got a baby by him. I was like, so why didn't you just take a DNA test? Like yeah. we can nip that in the bud right here. Like take the DNA test. Cause you know, it might be a baby. It might not be a baby. I don't, I don't know whatever came of that, but it's so funny because I'm like, that be the thing. It's just like, what? Look at look at the universe protecting you from terrible dick. Cause I was able to be like, oh, I I think that's that same nigga. <laughs> I love that you was looking out for me like that. Like, <laughs> cause I feel like that was pretty new in our friendship. And it was, it was really was early like, on in our friendship. I was just like, this is a real one. That's how I knew we was gonna be like this. Cause I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh no girl, I already, that, I, already, I already took the L for you. Like, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> But no, have you ever found yourself in a situation where like either you had sex with a guy and then you find out that your friend had hooked up with him or like the vice versa? Because yeah. I know, especially in St. Louis, with St. Louis being so small. It's small. Yeah. I've had at least three situations where me and Damn. a close friend have hooked up with the same guy. <laughs> No names mentioned, but I'm just going to say that. Um, It's something that just like, honestly, looking back in hindsight, it's like, okay, most of this happened in my 20s. Okay. Um, I hadn't developed like my strong, like core female friendships fully at that point. And there's no bad blood now. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, these dudes are for the streets and I can't, can't, you know, (laughs) can't deny it. We have proof. So, um, yeah, (laughs) we have proof, um, no, oh, or have, okay, so wait, have you intentionally in your ratchet days hooked up with somebody that you know hooked up with your friend though? No, I would never, um, I would never intentionally pursue or hook up with a guy that my, I know that my friend has fucked. Um, okay. it's just not my thing <laughs> I don't think okay. like no one's that and I feel like there's so many men in the world that I don't have to do that you know right, right. <laughs> no, and me I, and my friends sometimes me and my friends don't sometimes have the same taste in men anyway so like it actually works out you know in our favor we have like some bit of an integrity left in us you know <laughs> it's like, yeah no 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 I feel like I so I've had someone that was supposed to be my friend have sex with my ex-boyfriend yes so um I was like wow like that's that's really crazy because like honestly for me I was like I I, I'm not gonna be I, I honestly like when I found out about it I wasn't shocked I think I was just more so irritated because at this time when it happened, like my space was around oh, and no. she wrote like a blog post about it, but like didn't put the names in there, but it oh, was no. easy to piece it together. And I asked her and then you lied about it. So that's why I was just more so irritated. So I wasn't shocked by her behavior. I was more so looking at him crazy. And I was like, so, you know, like sometimes she be funky. And so you, you thought that that was okay. And knowing that that person was possibly my friend and he was like, I know, but it was just weird where I, so I went over there after she got out the shower. Like I made sure she showered. I was like, so you (laughs) you were making this what? (laughs) So when I had this conversation and mind you, like I never really got the chance to like talk to him about it. And he and I are like, like we're cool. You know, like we're so cool. He actually was uh, at my birthday party that I had at whatever place, the association that we had. And we oh, had yeah. I remember. I remember. And I'm just like, and it just be so wild because like 
niggas think that like they still got the opportunity or they got the chance to fuck and when i tell you like i do shit to like i will purposely not fuck somebody just to be like if i find some weird shit out or you say something weird i'm like yeah nah it's enough for me yeah um but i was just like wow like you really don't have no like niggas y'all just really will fuck anything y'all don't fucking yeah, care they don't care like i mean no remorse no no care for any sort of connection you know you may have hooked up with someone's friend and they may know that and they don't care like they just whatever's thrown at them they'll take it um it's just i don't know i also feel like you know two people make a choice mm -hmm. <laughs> so your friend isn't like necessarily like innocent but you said you already don't have any you know didn't have any expectations for her it's like right. but my thing is like why are people lying about it if you're gonna be moving funny just own it like just we're too own old that be it. my thing about shit and i'm like yo we know you do like slick shady shit stand in that shit stop trying to play like oh like you're this sweet amazing person it's just like yo you hella calculated you know how i feel about people like that yeah and i'm like just like and like you said like it's like all right I'm, I'm a bitch i'm a hoe whatever you're gonna do that shit like i don't give a fuck like if a nigga fuck my my home girl like i want to fuck him too like just say that shit and then yeah, so like, we know like have more respect more respect yeah. for women who would just say it like you know That's i'm on this don't don't crusade around like you're this angel or like you just you know if you want to fuck somebody just say that like just it's not that. we're adults like i can't stop you even if i don't like it i can't stop you like i don't right. care <laughs> i just hate it here it's just like it's so frustrating at times because you always think that you know people are well, you, you always feel like people always that you fuck with are always supposed to have your better like interest. Like they're also like always supposed to look out for you. Like I should not be in a situation, you know, where I feel like I can't bring my nigga around because I don't know how you gonna act or exactly. what you gonna do when we leave tonight. Are you gonna try to find him on IG? Yes, and slide like, his DMs? it's so scary. It's scary because you never know like, Females' intentions sometimes. I just want to say, I cannot reiterate enough. It's so important to have like a solid group of girlfriends, like right. who you know they're not going to move like that. Like, and you know, they genuinely would have a conversation for with you if something weird came up with a dude that they were talking to or something. Right. Like, I'm quick to block a dude that my friend is done with. I don't have no, no ties to them. Like, I don't care. <laughs> if they yeah. fuck you over, it's like they fucked me over. Like, that's yep. how that's how strong, like, my loyalty is, I feel like, for my friends. And that's the type of loyalty I expect back. But you just, it's always that if you've had an experience where you've had that betrayal or, like, somebody just wasn't honest about whatever it was, it is a little bit traumatic. And you start kind of looking at people sideways. But, again, you just... Just roll with the punches. I feel like motherfuckers don't be caring, girl. Like, <laughs> yeah. no. So it's interesting you say that. Like, oh, I feel like if if a guy does my friend wrong, that you know, you cut. You know, you also cut that guy off. And I I think that kind of is kind of it leads you to that space of like, okay, I'm not really trying to be friends with your guy. And yeah. I feel like, I feel like for the most part, sometimes men are quicker to bring like their partners around for the most part. Because yeah. for me, I'm like, I feel like I've been in situations where it's like, okay, my homeboys, like I know my homeboys and I know like the fuck shit that they do. And I somehow I get put in the middle of it. It's like, oh, well, you've known me longer. You got to cover for me. And I'm like, what the fuck, nigga? Like, no, nah. I like, why do you keep doing this? Like, why are you in a relationship right. with somebody? I don't somebody want no part. You, like, just yeah. don't be in a relationship. Like, and, and, and I've, like, now built a friendship with this person. Like, me and this person are hanging out. Like, we kick it. And we're kicking it and you going somewhere else. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, why are, yeah. Why do you date people? Why are you in a relationship yeah, with people like, if why you are going you to continue it's date people and see as whoever you want see as many people as you want but don't be in a relationship if you're trying to move that way like exactly it's perfectly fine being single i don't know what type of blanket that people you know what type of safety net being in a relationship is but i really feel like you know 
being single is lit like you know what i'm saying like if you're just gonna if you want to date multiple people be single like yeah you know, with it but or, like, or have a conversation with your partner and be like yo yeah. like, I, I i fuck with you but i want to fuck other people is that yeah cool for you? maybe they be yes respected. No. you never know whatever works yeah. for people in their relationships but i just feel like the the lack of transparency the sneakiness the the betrayal is just not you know do you really even care about this person like if you're doing that you know do you really care about yourself if you're doing that? That part, I feel it like motherfuckers who can't, the one who had a cake and eat it too, they're lacking something personally yeah. where they feel like they got to move like that. Because like, I'm like, just just be upfront. And like we said, like, I feel like a lot of times, I feel like this comes up a lot. Like, I think that men, when men, I, I, I know part of it is a, the thrill, um, but it's also, it's just like, yo, like when you don't tell the truth and you take away a woman's like right to choose, you know, and then we find out and you're wondering why, like, we're upset. And it could have been like a simple conversation. Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't, I don't fuck with you at all. Like, not even like after we're done, like, I don't want to even be your friend. Yeah. Because I cannot trust you. And trust is a big fucking thing. The me. trust is the major thing in any relationship, friendship or not. Right. And I feel like, you know, withholding that information from them like I don't know why men feel like they're you know taking the high road by lying to women like our feelings are so fragile I have so much respect for men who tell me they don't fuck shit yeah like just say that like you know if you if you're moving funny I need to know because I need to then be able to decide how I'm going to move with you or if I'm going to move with you at all like right and and that's the thing because like I always tell men I was like you really be surprised how down like a lot of like women are and I feel like and I, I know that they just don't do it to like black women I know it happens to like <clears throat> other oh, like racist yeah. women but I feel like it they they do it to us because they feel like oh we're not with the shit or we're not going to want to do certain things even you know like on a sexual level I was like well how do you know like you didn't try yeah. you didn't ask me yeah. so you just assume so that's your problem that's not mine um but I just I just hate I just dating is just like this whole complex thing girl we could all day on the subject of dating we really could. I unsubscribe from it all <laughs> <laughs> completely unsubscribe just whatever oh somebody checking okay maybe let's see what's up like I don't even go out my way no more. Like if, if it happens, it happens. I'm just enjoying my single time and not being bothered. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a question for you. It's a little fun. Oh Lord, I'm scared now. I'm always scared. You always pulling some shit out your back pocket. I don't know. <laughs> I thought you was gonna say out your ass. I was like, hey, no butt play. <laughs> <laughs> so what is like what are some of your kinks like what are some of the funny like freakiest you know you know you don't have to overshare but just okay. you know <laughs> let us in a little bit to Kendra's world well this is this may sound really elementary but like I am a sucker for forehead kisses I think it is like the cutest thing because you know I'm a whole ass tomboy like I don't like I'm not with the sweet shit a lot of the times. Like I'm very, you know, I balance my mask. I thought you was gonna give me something ratchet. Girl, okay. no, I don't want okay. to all of the ratchet stuff. Okay. Just, okay. <laughs> who who was giving forehead kisses? That was Tay Diggs and the best man. Yes, giving forehead kisses. kisses. Getting kisses people everywhere there. else, you know, all of that. Like, what I'm trying to think, it's nothing really. I don't I feel at least I feel like the stuff that I'm into, at least I feel like it's not weird. <laughs> You like because, anal, don't you? I know you what? like anal. No, I've never done that. <laughs> okay, never y'all. Done. Okay, so this is the key giveaways that she is lying. It was the laugh, yeah. and it was the body language. It was the. <laughs> no, Dom, I'm about to, Dom out here trying to get me uh, caught up. I'm no, I'm just playing. I'm you. just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. Oh, you man. know, I was just trying to be all nosy in your business. You know, I was gonna, think, gonna say, you know, maybe, maybe you're doing something. Maybe you give us some tips and some tricks. Girl, I mean, like I said, we can connect offline. I can give everybody tips if that's what they want. <laughs> <laughs> my tips will have these dudes popping up on you a year later. <laughs> oh my God, girl. You know, here's the thing though. Like, I, I think that people always forget 
get that. I think there's a lot of niggas out here not fucking right. And what I mean by that is, it's like, I was just telling the girls, you know, that sex is an experience and you can enhance the experience with euphoria. Oh my and God, get your ass. <laughs> the lube that includes oh THC. God. They also have a wait, CBD version. Wait, can you like real talk? Can you send me the link to that? Cause that seems I will send you the link to Foria. Please sponsor my podcast because I am putting everybody on. <laughs> um, but no, I think, I think that like a lot of people are not having like passionate like sex i have had sex with young you know you know my age bracket is a, a wide yeah. range from young to you know more mature because we're not gonna call them old because that sounds younger like guys old. are more fun sorry just put that out <laughs> nah i'm gonna tell you older younger niggas, guys are definitely more fun uh i'm gonna say the older men are a little more passionate though because like they know and i'm gonna say they might even be a little more kinky yeah. Just, you know, it like depending food. on like the age and, you know, when they was born, because, you know, you got to think about like deep throat coming out sometimes or if, you you know, just like I said, depending. So when you coming off that exploration, niggas was out here like fucking yeah. fucking. And That's I've true. been fucked very <laughs> It's just you know, so funny. It's so interesting. Different guys and their different style. Like, I just, I feel like everyone has their own style in that way. And I'm just mm-hmm. like, I just prefer younger, bo- like, not boys. That sounds crazy. Uh, <laughs> well, no, because it's just, it's like, when you really think about it, like, men are fucking you based on previous fucks that they've had. Their experience. You, so their, yeah, their experience is so old. That, so they might have been fucking somebody this way and thinking that oh every chick likes this and it's just like no like it's an elementary way to think about sex it's like you're supposed to you know figure out what specifically works with you and a particular partner it's not you know it's not going to look the same with every partner you have and I feel like sometimes guys make that mistake just thinking like oh some girl like this so Every girl's yeah. gonna like this. No, nigga, <laughs> how this works? <laughs> it, 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 exactly. And I feel like, like I, I had an experience where men this guy like had crazy great like chemistry, and he fucked me like a blow up dog. And so you know, like that. <laughs> That's the worst. I'm sorry. It's the worst when you really have that like mental and phys- every other connection is there. But then when it comes to that, there's not one. Yeah. That's, cool. That's like the worst. I'm sorry. And, and, and I was just like, okay, this is our first time having sex. I gave you the Joan Clayton three month rule. And then this shit has happened. And it's the point. I was like, and I'm, and I'm thinking like, okay, sometimes your first encounter with somebody might be a little awkward, you know, off. Yeah. awkward depending you know depending on like gotta get used to the person you gotta get used to yeah it. so but sometimes you have those interactions and it's just like mind-blowing and then the second time it's just like i don't probably need to fuck you again yeah it's just that yeah. one time that it was good um but i was like okay this literally had to be just a really awkward like encounter so <laughs> my ass goes back to Try again. You know, <laughs> dust yourself off yeah. and try again. The second chance. <laughs> I did. And so I found myself literally like, like, put my arm up. Like, I don't know who or what you've been fucking, but don't fuck me. Like, I don't like that. I don't. And I was like, you know what? Stop it. Just, Just stop. stop. <laughs> I said, like, let's just, I don't think we have that connection that way. Yeah. And like, I it's just. Not. <laughs> And it was like, and I would like years later, like dude would like a- ask me like, cause we ended up becoming like really good friends. I was like, we, we just need to be friends. Yeah. He asked me to like hook up with him again. And I was like, nah, like, do you not remember that? I had to like tell you to stop. <laughs> we stop in the middle of the act to be like, no, <laughs> no, nah, yeah, it would, it, no. It was so bad. So unfortunate. It's the I be forgetting about like bad experience. I don't count a lot of dick though. Like I don't. I don't account yeah. a lot of the encounters that I had because I feel like 
if I don't come, it don't count. So more than half of you niggas. Well, if that's count. the case, no women have that many sexual partners. They don't. <laughs> ladies. <laughs> ladies. We have no sexual partners if that's the case. Because y'all you don't know. And I get it. Like, I, and, and I know that there are people like, you know, it's more than just orgasming, you know, all the time. And, yeah. you know, it's like the, the interaction, the experience. I was like, but yeah, part of the ex- experience too. You want to come though. Sure. Like, like, why, why am I it? here? Like, why am I here? Yeah, I'm like, yeah. And you feel like, or I hate, like, I'm like, I feel like you're about to get to that point and then they come to, and I'm like, oh, man. It's the worst. It's I'm like, say, I'm like let me pull my vibrator I have no, out. I have no qualms about pulling a vibrator out during sex. I don't Me neither. That. You know what? Okay, so <laughs> which leads me that perfect that you said that. I'm so happy you said that. Because a lot of women are afraid to do that because I know, I know for me, it takes me a longer time. I'm also not trying to be fucking for like an hour and a half either. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I'm gonna speed the process up for me and you, you know, but I know right? that about myself. Because women, <laughs> you know, people, with that. yeah, and because people always like, well, you know, you should know how to get yourself off and blah, blah, blah. But uh, there are a lot of men that get intimidated and feel like, oh, they're not you don't doing think that I'm right doing, thing. yeah, I'm not doing a good job. And I'm like, no, I'm not saying that i also told you that i know even if i'm hella like oh like worked up and horny it takes me forever to come so i'm like yeah. i'm trying to make this easier on the both of us i'm not trying to be down there patting rubbing yeah. you know slicking the bean i don't have to get excessive that. after a while it's just like can we cut to the chase like <laughs> like you know why I'm here like I know why you're here to get off like I'm trying to get it off too yeah so but I just I, I feel like a lot of people you know I know people that don't use toys I always think that I'm like well we should keep things you know like super interesting you know by introducing you know Foria into the <laughs> you're the worst with this product placement right now <laughs> listen I'm just saying, y'all need to stop playing with me and y'all need to sponsor the podcast. <laughs> please sponsor Dom's podcast, please. Yeah, and can we get a whiskey sponsor up in here too? Yes, can y'all like, subscribe, and share? We need to get Uncle Nearest as the sponsor. Girl, that shit's so smooth. I, I still almost got- died taking a shot of that. First of all, I felt it burning going down for like 10 minutes after I took the shot. We tried to drink it in Puerto Rico. Me and the girls was like, all right, so we're, we're you know we're gonna make sure that this is a mixing. This is a whiskey for mixing, not shooting. Because it no, so girl, hard. it's like eighty proof, but it's so smooth. No, girl, it's so smooth. I love it. I would, you know, I I thoroughly enjoy this. So thank you for my birthday gift because I have a little bit left. Oh, I was you. like, oh, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna go get some more whiskey. I got like a different brand, but um, yeah, like I think that people just need to like relax and enjoy sex because it's sex it's just sex it's literally just sex. like I think like all of the especially women it's like the way sex has been sold to us as a concept Mm -hmm. it's like just it's always been about the man and I saw a post the other day that was like the reason why women don't orgasm is because men think of sex as something they do to women instead of with women. Ooh, and okay. So true, because it's like, like the whole fucking you like a rag doll. It's just like men are doing this. Not a rag doll. Other- it's a blow up doll. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, the shot kicked in. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's just like, you know, that's not necessarily going to be enjoyable. And I know it like, it puts the man in a place of power, right. but it's like, you know, if you really care about a girl, like you, I feel like if I were a guy, I would want to help her get off too. It's like, right. why are you doing this? What are you in it for? Like, no, that's, that's true. And because like, like, like you said, like, there's no reason why studies show that like 80 to 85% of women don't orgasm during yeah. intercourse with a man, Yeah, you know? So that's just not a, you know, oh, some number we just threw out there. We are literally telling you to like, take the time and like, learn our body see like what we like and even sometimes like ask questions because people are like you know I think masturbation is really important you know so you really know like what you like or you know touching yourself but I think that men like when men get intimidated by a woman that takes control and that totally uh, that's every aspect of life (laughs) Okay. especially with sex it's <laughs> like sometimes it you know 
just like pulling out the vibrator friend. I'm taking control of my situation here. Yeah, like and, you, and that's nothing to do with it. Has yeah. nothing to do with you at all. It has everything to do with me and me also receiving pleasure. Yeah. You know, um, I I had a guy one time uh, tell me that, you know, he was intimidated by how I was sexually because he had never like experienced anything like that. And it was just like, he was like, I, you know, I was young then. I didn't know how important that was like, you know, for you to be in control of things, you just take you know, taking them right. I was like, so what you just thought, oh, I knew what to do because I was just out here fucking niggas. Like, nigga, you was getting up. I was trying to get mine too. Like, the right. fuck? <laughs> but, you know, like it happens all the time. I just, I think that like a lot of things, I also think that men think that they are overly sexual. I think men think that they are freaks when they're really not. If, if, it, if it has anything yeah, to do with- Yeah, when they come across with a girl who's actually a freak, dudes be acting crazy like y'all be acting or, crazy. or it's like oh or you label her as um you know a hoe yeah it's like you know oh. or like who taught you that i literally had a guy during sex say who taught me that what <laughs> just the I, shit that i have to contend with with these men but like it's just that type of thing just make goes to show Yeezy you taught me <laughs> I was like five seconds too late, but Yeezy taught me. It's just crazy. I so <laughs> did you get to let's just stay here for a second. <laughs> so did you continue fucking him? Like like or it was what? after it was after the said oh act okay. Done. I'm like and I was just like, bro, I'm 31. I was 31. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what type of girls you've been with, but I'm very in control of my body and I know the things to do. Like, I just know. Like, it's not rocket science. Men are so much more simple than women, like, sexually. Like, they're just, it's very simple. <laughs> it, 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 it really is. And I just, I, I feel like when I try to have this conversation with men, I'm like, y'all are not as, you know, sexual as you guys think you are cats i'm like because then if because if you were sexuality is really fluid like you would allow women to explore and do certain things with you that does not make you gay everything especially when it comes to black men like they always oh, feel God. like their masculinity and their sexuality is being attacked exactly. by, you know like, come on and we're it's not fun and it's, here it's not like i'm judging you you're no i'm not we're, we're fucking a, like we're exactly we did. Exactly. Like we're sharing this experience together. So that doesn't mean that you are, you know, gay. And it's just also just like, you know, men think that, oh, if you, if they have sex with, they don't want to have a, they don't, they also want, they always want to have threesomes, but they never are open to the idea of having sex with you know, two guys you, involved. Two in guys one. involved because it's like that's gay. I don't want to see somebody else fuck you. And I, I'm, I like, I'm like, I'm like, but you're not. Yourself. You're. I'm like, it's like porn. Think of it like porn, just live action porn. You know, I'm like, but you're not fucking that guy, just like in yeah. a you know porn. Like you're not fucking him. Now, if you did, I'm like, hey, like that's your business. That's not my business. Like yeah. I'm not. That's on you, bro. Like that's a, like <laughs> okay, you do you get it how you live, bro? Yeah. And I'm not I'm even saying, like, you. <laughs> and, and, and that's it. Like, <laughs> and it'll only come up one time after I'm like, so is that something that you know, man? Too okay? Because I'm just I just want to know how to like how to move with please, you. <laughs> yeah, how to please you and, and what to do. But you see oh, how I'm simple that too. is. It's like what you like. Like what is it that you like? I I want to please you on the highest level. And why? But men don't, I don't get it. They just don't, don't get it. It's okay. We'll, we'll teach, the right guy will get it. Um, the right guy will. The right guy will just always get it. <laughs> yeah. No, and I'm like, you know who get it? The white boys. We ain't trying. <laughs> like, I don't want to, I want to come from my kings. I, I come from my, my you know, our, our kings, you know. Uh, but, you know, but I tell people, I was like, but, you know, I'm like, I understand that 
things have happened to us generationally that probably plays a huge role that in that. Up for this type of stigma, this type of, yes. like, you know, it's, it's traditional, like, it's just, it's a lot of fuck shit that's happened to, to the black community that is every, everything that we encounter, it's all rooted in some sort of historical trauma. Like right. the way men move now, you just really can't fault people for, right. you know, a lot of people are really struggling to heal from that because it takes, it's been passed down for generations, these ideologies about right. masculinity and all of this. So, I mean, I get it. I get it. I just, you know, and I'm trying to, you know, you try to be patient people understand, but man. Who or you shy? mind your business and drink water and let them do, do what they're going to do because, honey, I ain't got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> At all. But... Period. <laughs> Oh, well, you know, this was a great time. I, I know you have a lot going on. I told you, I was like, I promise I won't take too long. You know, I think we've only been here for about 45 minutes. Oh, wow, the time flew. It did. It. We was having a good time, <laughs> I believe. You know, and it's shoot, it might not even be 45 minutes. It might have been a good 30. It's okay. Uh -oh, uh -oh. You know, we got to have you back on, have, you know, the whole air sign gang get Phyllis up in Oh, my so gosh. We can really yes, talk I about shit. Episode. Yes. So to you niggas, don't and women, <laughs> don't be don't be popping up on people because then you're gonna get your feelings hurt. It's just like Dude. going through a phone. Cause you know, if you feel like you gotta do that, you probably don't need to be with that person anyway. Hence why I'm not, and hence why she not. And that's why you that's how you get left on scene is popping up. That's don't do it. Don't attempt it in 2021. Have some respect for yourself. Please. You know, I just thought about that. How am I probably <laughs> socking you? You know what, making your moves. I've, I've realized that he might have some burner accounts. Oh, Lord, because I've seen a lot of like XYZ 2K7 um, watch your story lately. I'm like, oh. <laughs> girl, you remember that girl that um, followed you and Megan? Yes, <laughs> bitch. Yo, I just thought about this. And I'm like, I don't even. And it was the weirdest thing, and they was tagging you and y'all yeah, stuff. like tagging me in a in a picture of this man, and like they were together. Like it's just, oh, it's it so was weird. the weirdest thing. And I'm just like, who is watching us? Girl, the streets. The streets are watching. The streets are watching. You know, <laughs> like they always watch. See, that's that's why I'm behaving. You know, I'll be in the streets behaving because I just mind my business again. Stay at home. Drink water text people occasionally check in yes, it. no pop-ups only check-ins on this <laughs> uh, that was the wildest i honestly i've never had no shit like that happen before actually no it was one time about like same same nigga oh, no, no 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 this was well it was it was a, a certain ex you know this ex of and course. somebody sent me a message on Facebook about something to do with like some books. And so I'm like, what? Like, I'm so confused. I was like, are you? I said, I am. That's not my boyfriend. No. <laughs> oh my and like, like, no, it, at that time, it wasn't my boyfriend. And I'm trying to think the message was some girl. It seemed like the girl probably liked him or he probably fucked her. And then they saw that we was in pictures. So they was asking me, but I'm like, yo, we don't even have new photos together so i don't know i was like you need to contact this person because i ain't got shit to i do don't with have that. nothing to do with this like remember the time i got trolled on facebook by somebody's baby mama <laughs> and um the guy lied and said he like didn't have a baby on the way this woman literally has the ultrasound it's her profile picture on facebook and pregnant in the photo with the two kids that i know he already had <gasps> and i don't know how you found my facebook so i I told, I blocked him after this, but I had to get to the bottom of like, how did this woman find my, my information? So she went through an Apple watch, his Apple watch that his daughter took when she kept the kids and went through and just started calling all these numbers on the Apple watch. I guess she typed my number into Facebook and I don't know the way the privacy settings was set up. I guess my number is searchable and I had to change my whole privacy settings. I wake up one morning, I look on, cause I never get on Facebook. I look on there and some girl is like trolling me, calling me a slut <laughs> on, my, like, on one of my Facebook statuses about something completely like, 
Unrelated. Yeah, your, set, your status was all jacked up because I had yeah. it where you I sent you those screenshots. Even... I probably still got those screenshots because I'm like, this girl is crazy. Like, bro, like I told, I want nothing to do with this guy. Like, I didn't know that he, you literally are pregnant by another one of his, like, and of course he popped back up too. He's team pop up. I and, mean, block that yeah. nigga. <laughs> just insane like no I don't yeah that was I, that was just the strangest thing I'm like that's yeah I don't I've never even like even in, living in St. Louis like I've never had anything like crazy you know like somebody sending me messages like I said like oh and and then like actually no I just thought about a funny story about a dude popping up to my job that I met wow that's unheard of like a nigga Your popped up at my place. job now that I think about it. And the That's nigga the worst type of pop up. Let's just start there. I got <laughs> popped up on at home my job because that's how I felt. I'm a social media like director. That's how I felt when this girl was trolling my status. I'm like, you basically you popped up on my job at this point. <laughs> right, right. Yo, and so what's crazy is that when he popped up at my job. I saw him in person. So I, I wear glasses, y'all. Like at one point I couldn't, like it was just for like seeing the board. And then sometimes like when I would drive at night, this night I was driving home from the gallery in St. Louis. I could not find my glasses for the life of me. So I knew he had a nice car. The sweater that he had on was like nice. That's, I kind of, I couldn't really see his face. It was a little fuzzy. Well, y'all, it was like a Monet. So you know how a Monet is like fuzzy. And then, you, you know, like, but you got to kind of step back to think it, you know, like, you know, far away, it looked good, but then you get up on it and it's blotchy. That's how it was in real life. And I was like, who are you? And he was like, I'm art. <laughs> Edit that out. Edit that out. <laughs> Yo, you've done so good. We both done so good on not dropping any names up until girl, this point. <laughs> girl, girl. So I was like, yeah, why you come up here? You know, <laughs> and years later, so I like ducked him after that, right? Of course. Years later, I come to St. Louis to visit and I'm at Bar Louie in the West End. Oh, I miss Bar Louie. <laughs> Yo, so I, I'm with my home, like, hunger at the time and he he walked in with a group of people mm -hmm. so I tell her the story and I'm like oh my gosh like that's that dude I remember because like and when I saw him like again I remember I was like yeah that nigga is kind of like funny looking not my type you know whatever funny looking and so I somehow knocked her phone over and it fell on the floor, but it did something weird to the screen where the colors was off and it, was, it just needed to be like reset in some way. So he ends up helping us reset this phone. And I was like, wait, I got a feeling this nigga is going to try to talk to me again. No, this nigga tried to talk to me like 10, 12 years ago. And I like ghosted him because now I look completely different. You know, I have short platinum, you know, hair now, all this stuff. Yo, sure enough, that nigga tried to talk to me again. Wow, of course. And where does this nigga live now? LA. <laughs> and we can't as we're talking, him. and he's trying to get to know me. Winnie, <laughs> Winnie just, fuck, I keep saying everybody name. Okay, I don't care if I said Winnie name. But like, yeah. she's yeah. just cracking up as this is happening. And I'm like, this is this is wild. Like, this nigga's really trying to talk to you because she like, you know, oh, she live in LA too. I'm like, shut up. Uh. <laughs> so this fool like so the dude I was like oh. he's like oh you do I teach I said you know like some school in Santa Monica I was like oh, okay and he uh now I kind of feel like he asked me for my number he's like we should hang out I feel backed into this corner uh. so I'm like okay I don't want to embarrass him in front of his friends you know and it's it's really messed up like but I'm gonna be nice and I'm gonna give him my number so I give him my number and he um you know I was like oh 
we should like hang out or whatever when you get back. And I was like, no. He's like, why not? I said, so I know you. I said, I don't know you know you, but you tried to talk to me before. And he was like, when did I try to talk to you? So I give him the timeline. And I was like, and you popped up at my job without permission. So I don't like, I didn't like that. He said, why would I pop up at your job? I said, I don't know, motherfucker. You tell me you popped up at my job. So, so yeah, so that happened. And then he asked me to go to Vegas. I'm like, y'all niggas love asking bitches to go to Vegas. I hate fucking Vegas. always Vegas or Miami. Like, are we not going overseas this year? Like, girl, I wasn't going nowhere with that nigga because I was not interested. And he just could not understand the fact that I did not want to talk to him. They sometimes, like, a whole episode needs to be done on, like, just accepting the curve. Like, yeah. Like, that's the next episode right there. Like, please. Talk to women about getting catcalled and even politely declining men's advances and men still coming at them crazy because it happens. I feel like I can't think of a single woman this has not happened to. Like, they'll call you a whole bitch for, like, not being interested in talking to them. Girl, I remember I got catcalled in high school and my cousin had to start taking me to the bus. Oh, no. Um, and this dude was like cat calling me as I'm walking home. And he was like, I was like, no, no, thank you. You know, like I got a boyfriend. Well, I just wanted to fuck you anyway. And like pulls out a condom. And I'm like, oh, this got crazy really fast. Wow. I thought or, you were almost certain you were going to say that he said, you can't have friends. Like, that's the favorite nah, line. He was like, guy. You tell them that you have a nah, boyfriend. Nah, this nigga was like, I just wanted to fuck you anyway. Honestly, ain't even mad at dude's transparency, but you could have kept that to yourself. Like, <laughs> like, okay, you pulled it out of condom. Okay, sure. Let's go. Fuck. Let's get it. Yeah, in. like, what are we supposed to say? Like, what the fuck were you supposed to say? <laughs> Girl, I... I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like it's either that or you're ugly. And you know, yeah, and unfortunately in some way, cases, you know, women. Way. We've heard it all. Like, <laughs> Yeah, and I'm like, and me, like you said, like they're, we, you know, well, let's work that out about accepting the curve and get a panel of men on here and we can moderate that shit because men need to do better. Like somebody last year, like they was, Pat calling some girl and she didn't accept their advance and the dude knocked her upside the head with that skateboard and knocked her yeah. all out it in New York. Thing. Men cannot, the male ego seems to be so fragile that they cannot accept rejection yet feel like women are the ones that can't. Like, bro, you up here crying, calling me out my name just because I don't want to give you my number. Like, right. it, like there are so many women available and you, you get hung up on one in social interaction with me. Like, I just can't yeah, we definitely need men to talk about this because I'm I rash I can't rationalize another thing that they do that I cannot rationalize. Like, I I yes. I gave up. Yeah, I, just, I really did because it's a headache. Out of control. Don't have time. Not at <laughs> all. No energy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you so much for pulling up to Whiskey Soured. I would love to have you back. You know, we're going to definitely put that on the books. You know, enjoy your girl's trip this weekend. Yes. Uh, turn up for your girl because I will be working. Oh, I got you. I will take a whiskey shot for you, but I can't. No, don't just take a. Well, you know I'm drinking tequila, honey. I, 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 tequila. Listen, you trying to be, go back to them college days. I will not. <laughs> Tequila's like water to me, says the girl who literally had like a three day hangover, but I'm not putting myself. Yeah, I'm like, um, are you sure about that, sis? Because you know who's not waking up with a hangover tomorrow from that shot? Me. Oh my God. <laughs> I know whiskey is so much like less hangover, but it's just, ooh, the taste. Sometimes I gotta gotta pace myself, you know? No. Real. It's the taste that gets me. <laughs> So So fun. Thank you so much for tuning, you know, in everybody. And we will see you guys here next week.